Hey, hey everyone, I must do more appropriate syntax too, and welcome back to EU4 as Provence. We just finished off a war for the Reformed Faith, defending Savoy against Milan. We are still defending Ravensburg against Württemberg. Also a religious war. We also noticed that um, I'll be able to vassalize Ravensburg, which I am actually seriously considering doing, because um, it might be a nice way to expand here. Now, I do have six out of seven diplomatic re relations used right now, so it might be a bit of a difficult one if I want to have a vassal down here to feed in France. But Mantua is also an actually re really rather excellent um, option, is the word. It's an excellent option for uh, vassalizing someone, too, in the middle of Italy, too, nonetheless, which... Um, which is a very nice expansion path, so... You know, there, there, there's some options. We have some options available. We could also just really maybe even go for force vassalizing someone like Milan. That already like us, that would only need like one war. Modena is also a possibility. I don't know. We, we'll have to think about it. I don't think I will create a vassal in southern France. I think I'll just... Ah, there. Ravensburg and just peaced out. Fantastic. Now we should think about attacking France. Now, what I was thinking is, um, I don't think I'll create a vassal in southern France, because uh, I'll just eat that myself and I'll feed northern France to Burgundy, and then I'll Diplo annex them. I think that'll be a much better use of my uh, relation slots and so forth. What was Portugal doing up there? I do not know. Let's see about France, though. Let's see here. Do are they still rival to Castile? Yes. Huh. Even though Castile really wants to be friends with them. Well, look, uh, they got Galray and Brabant, which is up here. It's an OPM and a 2PM, and then they got the Papal States. So I'm not too concerned about their allies. Spe especially not when you consider my allies. I think I'm going to call him Brandenburg on this one, because they're pretty far away. And they're rarely going to help me in any other conflict. I'm going to save Austria for my next time attacking Castile. And I'm going to save Portugal too, because I think I will be doing that within the next 10 years. So, I'm just going to call Brandenburg. I might wait for Bavaria to be out of this war. What is this war he's in? Attack against Aachen. Trier is attacking Aachen. Okay, that war seems like it's almost over, because he's got 55%, so... Let's see if we can do that. It looks like Bavaria's armies are fairly untouched too. Which is very good. I'm gonna improve relations with them. So let's do that. I mean, it's not, I don't think I need all this help, but better safe than sorry when it comes to to these wars. You know, I can just call. I can just call Bavaria in later once they're out. So out of that war. So that's probably fine. I'm gonna do this and ah, well look at that. Burgundy actually has two claims on France. So that's that's actually really good. I'm going to take Rusillion. I want that to be my war goal. I know it's a fort, but it's the province I'd mostly want want the most out of everything. Because not only is it in the Genoa trade node, which is a great addition, but I can also march right into the Iberian Peninsula without having to have access through France. Now, I'm hoping I'll be able to take more than just that one province, of course. All right, let's see. This should work. I'm declaring. There we go. We were uh, trying to get all of our ships together. I don't think I want to move those ships there, because France probably has a navy of some description. We still have ten... We still have ten dudes there. Where's our... Oh, there's our transports. We got a little mixed up here. Alright. Where do we go? We, we should just... Um, move up here, actually, and be a little bit worried about the French 27 stack, 25 stack, something like that. I want to remember, eh, 23 stack, oh, that's fine. Let's, uh, put both of our armies to move into Perigord. I think both of them will get a river crossing, but I have almost double their numbers, so that should be fine. Let's get our armies off Corsica and start protecting our trade in Genoa again. Yes! There we go. Okay, that's a very big... Very, very big numerical advantage for us. Even with French ideas, he's not going to stand a chance. Let's uh, follow his armies. Let's uh, start sieging Resilient immediately, why don't we? Actually, no. 
Let's send our armies out and try to occupy the small one so that he can't build troops. That's that's the first priority here. Burgundy will do just fine sieging the rest of France, so we can focus here on the southern part. We can call in... We could call in a lot, but we don't need to. Brandenburg is probably going to be fairly inactive in this war, to be honest. I mean, I don't know... They can't do much, they don't have access through a lot of these territories, I think. Maybe I could just swing some access, though? I mean, it would cost me some military relations, but if I do... Oldenburg, Cologne, and Trier... All whom would say yes, so let's do that and see if that gets... Burgundy moving. Maybe that's enough to get... No, no, it's not. I don't have any diplomats to send, so let's... I uh, wanted to go after the French armies before they recovered. Oh, crap. Alright, we want to go and protect our trade ships. Oh, we won that battle because they ran off. <laughs> well, alright then. Alright. Um, What we're doing? Yes. We're getting some military access through Cologne. And then, of course, Trier after that. And that's the French army stack wiped. That's a little easier than I was expecting. Oh, okay, we got Brabant coming in on Poitou. Should not be too hard to to get that army away. Maybe we should think about just going with both of our armies there. Just for safety's sake. Alright, Trier. Let's get that military axis going, shall we? There, maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll get them going. Because they should have access all the way through. Let's say I want Burr... Let's say I want... You to siege the capital of Brabant. Brandenburg, can you do that? I don't know if you can do that from here. But I also will put one on Paris for you. I don't know, maybe I'll do something useful. Maybe I'm just having wishful thinking, I don't know. Let's go for Rosilion with these eight. Should be enough to siege it, I think. Might not be. No, six. Yep, that's all good. Don't think Brandenburg is interested in doing anything. Hmm. It's a little bit annoying. But hey. They don't really need to. It's just to uh, use their manpower. Let's just go siege Bjarne and uh, Labor. I love this song. Oh, the end of religious turmoil in... Oh, come on. Man, Austria, I am impressed, though. They had a lot of reform going on, now they got, they got nothing going on. It's pretty impressive. Very annoying. I was hoping to have a nice, um... Reformed ally. They even got rid of the center of faith. I didn't think that was even possible. I guess if you convert it, but I thought that would be like minus 100 or something, minus 10 at least. That's insane. Does that mean a new center of faith will pop up somewhere if someone converts? I mean, there's a center of reformation there, or center of reformation there. Central Reformation of Lübeck, of course, and up here, but a reformed Center Reformation is nowhere to be found. Nope. I guess we don't have that. I don't think it can happen over here. Protestant? How are you Protestant? How are... what? How is this Protestant? There's no Protestantism around here. They must have switched to Catholic when they became neighbors with Portugal and then switched to Protestant from there? What a strange thing. What a strangely specific process for an AI to do, too. Oh well. Man, Brandenburg, it would be really cool if you could just clear out these tiny armies. That would be really nice. But... You're not gonna do that, are you? I might as well cancel these... 
military accesses, to be honest. They're just costing me diplo points. Let's uh, pull our peasants war in, Por in Poland. Good job, Poland. <laughs> Let's just pull back our um, military accesses so we can go back to six out of seven relations. There we go. And then we can keep improving our relations. Because why not? Yeah. This is all good. Man, have you ever seen... Have you ever seen Provence completely wreck France like this? I sure haven't. That's funny. It's just weird to look at, you know? I'm so unused to it. I think, too, because I'm in the French group, if I actually fully annex France at some point, I'll actually be able to cr form France. But with uh, Provencal ideas. Of course I'm not gonna do that, because, I mean, come on. Come on! It's Provence. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let's just go after these uh, eight... This eight stack from the Papal States. I am reformed, so... You have no hold over me. Silly Roma. Yes, it's going very well. Oh, wow, 20 stack up here. Ah, with Brabant, right. Come on, Brandenburg. That's so silly. I wonder if I can separate piece them. Nah, probably not. They're going to try to go down here, probably. Or are they just going to try to siege Poitou? Oh, wait, I don't think they can go through with the coverage of uh, forts here. You know, unless they just completely ignore my fort and walk right through it. That's, that's, that's great. Really? It's so weird. Okay, they're gonna try to de-siege Labord. Good thing is I'm almost done sieging Bjorn, and by the time this 18th stack comes back, that'll probably have happened. There we go. And then we can move right in on this big army here. You know, Burgundy, why don't you go after your claims? Not that. Burgundy. And Burgundy. Because Brandenburg is just not going to show up. Alright, Burgundy. Off you go. Choo-choo. Come on. No? Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Is there even crossing in every direction here? No, Gascon. All right, so let's move both armies to Gascon, and then go down from there. That should be a nice attack. We should be able to win this fairly simply. Of course, should and will are very different things. Why did we get? Oh, all right, terrain because of woods. It's a very good thing we avoided that river crossing. Even so, we're doing well. There we go. Now they're gonna run off to where? Here, really? To Resilion, or... Nope, just stack wipe them. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's split these guys up so that they're not in the same place. Are you even walking? Nope. You didn't have enough morale, probably, to send the order. And we'll go to Paris and Orlanay. This is going very well. Very well. Alright, let's recall the diplomats. Maybe we can get some people out of the war. They have a high war enthusiasm, so I'm not... Not too hopeful, but... Maybe? Nope. 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 Whatever. We'll fully siege these guys, and then we'll see what we can do about uh, the other guys. There we go, we got... Uh, we got Resilion. I guess we'll just go for Roma. 15 stack should be enough. Evangelical Union. Um. Ah, oh, okay, the League Wars, of course. Oh man, what do we do here? I mean, we're kind of the third wheel when it comes to Catholicism and Protestantism, since we're neither. <laughs> And we can't really get... We, I mean, if anything, we want it to be religious peace, because that's the weakest empire. And it is also the only empire where we could ever become emperor. Not that I think we should. 
or even would want to. But it's something worth considering. If nothing else, I might actually just join it just to be the leader. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to be the leader of the... of the side I join. And if I do, I can just get a white piece going and... yeah. And end it inconclusively, as it's... as it were. Let's go up and siege Brabant. Yeah, whatever, you can walk through there. Let's see... How is our air situation? Was I gonna get him killed? I was, because he's a 312 and I can get better than that and my leader is only 33. Let's get an... let's make a general out of our air. Not a terrible 221. It's not bad. Definitely enough to uh, win here. Yeah. What tech do we have? Ah, we can get some admin tech, but we'll want to maybe not do that. Because, um, obviously we're going to have the, um, cor a little bit of coring to do here. Maybe Brabant is not so happy about this war now. No, nope. Okay, I'm just going to get war operations from all these guys now. You had your chances. Hmm. I should probably just wait for this. Get the military tech 14 as soon as I can. Disputed succession. Well, it doesn't really matter because I don't share. I don't share throne with anyone. But I guess I could use a disputed succession to see who I want to royal marry. Hungary. That would be pretty cool. But I think we're rivals. Yeah, we are. We sure are. They are loyal. Yep. I was just checking to see if Aragon might want to be a little rebellious. Looks like looks like um, Castile has given up on annexing anything, even though it has a five diplo leader. It's pretty funny. It's like I crushed his spirits or something. I should just uh, start protecting trade in Genoa now because I don't feel like I need to. I don't need to be blockading his port. I don't think it helps in the siege. Right? No, actually it does help in the siege. I should do it then. I forgot. It helps. I forgot that it helps. Quite a bit, in fact. Okay, Siege of Paris is done. Siege of Brabant is done. Which means Brabant should want to peace out. I'll just, uh, I'll just make you a vassal. <laughs> we could do it, but nah. I could force religion, though. I'm gonna do that. Screw you, Brabant. You're gonna be reformed. Whoop. Gives us five prestige. That's more fun. That's much more fun than the um, war reparations. If not quite as useful. Conquer Novara. You know what? I'm probably gonna end up doing that. So yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can do that. And can we go up to Gallery? Yeah, we can. Good. Ah, oh, Brabant, you reformed bastard. That's beautiful. What do you want to give me? All of my course. Or all of my claims, basically. Which is quite a bit of them. I'm glad we made those. But I'm going to finish this war in style. I'm going to go for 100%. Maybe we can even convince Gallery to be reformed as well. Maybe that should be our goal. Reformed for everyone. <laughs> that would be excellent. We're probably going to get stability focus after this. Since we'll have a significant overextension going, I think. So yeah, let's just sit here until we siege Gallery. We are sieging the Papal States capital. I don't think we can force them to change religion. I don't think that's even a possibility. We could vassalize them. And granted, it would be pretty hilarious to vassalize the Pope as reformed and then feed him Italy and then diplo annex him. That sounds like the best idea. I'm serious, I think I might do that. I've never done that, I've never vassalized the Pope. In Crusader Kings, in Crusader Kings, I once played Norse and I took Rome. And they could do nothing to stop me, but I've never vassalized them and special out in EU4. So that might actually be fun. Why don't, why, why not? I mean, they're, they're, that would... Oh man, that would be so fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna vassalize them. Fuck you, Pope. 
All right. Let's force religion. Oh, we can't? Are they already? Are they already reformed? They are already reformed. Well, that's 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 lovely. Let's uh, just get some war operation and maybe some uh, money going. Thank you, gallery. And then we'll move back to uh, Lyonnais, yep. Yeah. Do we get a minus for taking? Do we get a minus with every- I don't care. I don't care. We're doing it anyway. We are doing it. As soon as we get this, we're gonna vassalize the Pope. For, for shits and giggles. How much AE do I get? A uh, fair bit. 2 to 33, depending on uh, between countries, but I don't care. There you go. You vassalized. You're mine. <laughs> uh, that is beautiful. Let's dump that prestige. We're going to get it back anyway. Ah. All right. So we're going to have to use automatic transports to get back because we don't have any <laughs> military access. Well, that is kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hopefully the boats will work the way they're supposed to. Now we can finally protect our trade. And we have just about 100%. I guess they have a colony or two somewhere? There we go. Down there. Okay. Well, whatever, friends. Seriously. Let's see if we can feed Burgundy. Let's just hand over all of this occupation to them. I want to see how we stand. Alright, so we got some potential... We got some potential people being mad at us. I think as long as we keep it kind of far away, this could create a pretty big coalition, but of no significant nations. Most of them would be around 50, so they might not join anyway. But, uh... No, let's, let's do this. It's not as much as I thought I could take. I will actually say that. I wish I could take this, but that's too much. Maybe here? We'll get as strong reactions if we look around down south? No. Let's keep it here, because then we don't get... I don't think we're gonna get a huge coalition, and even if we do, it's not gonna be of any significant nations. What can we do? What else can we do? We can probably make them release a bunch of shit, like small nations. A guy... Oh, wow. That's not a small nation. Nope. That's a big one. I didn't even know that. We could make them just release Orle, and we can take it later. And same with, like, Toulouse. Maybe? Maybe that's something we can do? I mean, we could do Almond Jack, but I'm afraid of Spain just taking whatever I do if I do that, so maybe not. Maybe just make them revoke a bunch of course. That'll give us a bunch of... Let's do war reparations and have them revoke course, because that'll actually give us a lot of... Uh, lots of prestige. We'll actually max our prestige out. That's pretty cool. I like their allies. They're predictable. Yeah, let's do that. And then just... Uh, there. Alright. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty good peace deal. A boof! Yeah. Screw you, friends. Also, Burgundy. Look at you, Ketting Paris. Paris. Burgundian Paris. That's kind of a new one, isn't it? Let's uh, activate stability. We didn't get that high of, a, of an overextension at all. I'm spending 200 points, so we can actually even... Uh... No, we can't. But we can look at it soon. Yes. Well, isn't this nice? We got Rome as our vessel. <laughs> Which I think just... That's just hilarious. That's going to be fantastic, though, for feeding uh, Naples and Pisa and Tuscany and so forth. It's really good, and we're still not over our uh, diplomatic reputation, or the relation slots. Burgundy, we might feed one province or two more, and then we'll be done with that. But hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you next time.